Well, in sports, the home team is doing an amazing job at the 2015 Gwangju University at Korea. It's at the top of the medal race with an astonishing 47 goals. Arirang's Kim Yeonbin is at the southwestern city of Gwangju. He met with the head of the Korea delegation to hear the key to their success. Take a look. The host nation Korea exceeded everyone's expectations in terms of its sporting performance at this year's 2015 Gwangju Universiad. By securing the top spot in the medal standings for the first time in its history since the Summer Universiad began in 1959 in Italy. Yesterday, I couldn't believe that we'd secured first place overall, but now it's finally hitting me. I didn't expect such a strong performance, and I am proud to have contributed. Team Korea racked up over 45 gold, 30 silver, and 29 bronze on the penultimate day of the 14 day sporting extravaganza. This is a huge accomplishment as Team Korea's initial goal was to finish third place overall with 25 gold medals. South Korea clinched first place by more than 10 medals, ahead of China and Russia, currently battling for second in the standings. I think our athletes have been able to perform to the best of their abilities at home. It's an honor to lead the Summer Universiad in gold medals for the first time. Out of the 21 sporting categories in this year's event, Team Korea dominated 10 of the events including Judo, Archery and Taekwondo. Korea previously topped the medal standings at the 2007 Winter Universiad in Torino, Italy. But this is the country's first time finishing top at the Summer Universiad. Team Korea has performed exceptionally well at this year's Universiad and hopes to continue the momentum for success at the upcoming 2016 Rio Olympics. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News, Gwangju.